there's so many kids like myself um, come from where I come from. Not, I mean, my mom or dad didn't touch a college campus. So, uh, I mean, my brother did, but still. My parents couldn't pay for college. Like, they didn't have the means to help me out with tuition, and that's where TOPS and the Pell Grant came in. I mean, it was unfathomable, like, how much it helped. Knowing me, myself, I would have made a way, but, like, it would have been so much harder. I mean, I would have had to, would have had to work like a regular nine to five job, you know, like to to pay for school, and I, I wasn't gonna be able to do that. Nursing is pretty tough; it's a grind. So it's like I don't, I just couldn't imagine myself full time job or even like more than a part time job. I, I just couldn't do it. So it was. It was very beneficial. I mean, without it, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. My scholarship and jobs have allowed me to attend college, and for that, I am grateful. But it doesn't cover room and board, textbooks, and other expenses that have arised while working towards my degree. Reflecting back, when I was applying to college, I was looking at the affordability of these schools because I was already worried about student loans. My financial situation was not ideal from the start, and then changed for the worse. I have just graduated with honors at Franklin and Marshall College and taken a position with TFA, where I will get to explore some of my interest in teaching America's youth. But the reality is that this and the majority of my decisions concerning my future have been centered around student loan and debt anxiety. The Pell Grant does not cover very much of what I would actually have to pay to go to college. And so even though I knew I'd qualify for the full Pell Grant because I came from a low-income family, a low-income neighborhood, at a low-income school, in a low-income district, I knew that wasn't gonna be everything. For a lot of people that I know, financial aid is the determining factor on whether or not they can achieve the dreams that they've set forth for themselves, on whether or not they can be all that they possibly can. In its peak from 1975 to 1976, the maximum Pell Award covered more than three-fourths of the average cost of attendance. This is tuition, fees, living expenses, etc. at a four-year public university. Today, the cut was less than 30%. If we're really going to set forth to make college the great equalizer, the thing that makes the playing field equal despite all of the inequalities that exist in our country, then it needs to be equally accessible. And that is why I believe that doubling the Pell Grant is the best course of action. Because College can only be an equalizer if access is equal.